This is Razer Blade Pro 17. It is a 17-inch desktop replacement laptop that has 10th generation Intel i7 2.3 GHz 8-core CPU, RTX 2080 Super Max Q graphics card, 17.3-inch Full HD 300Hz anti-glare display, aluminium body, per-key RGB powered keyboard, tons of ports, tons of fans and big grills, vapor chamber cooling, Windows Hello compatible webcam that allows you to unlock Blade Pro with your face and it is upgradable. So I guess the question is, is this $3000 monster any good? Hello, Future Farouk here editing the Blade Pro 17 review right now. I wanted to say a huge thank you to Razer for sending this awesome laptop, fantastic keyboard, beautiful mouse, and a really cool headset. I reached out to them. I asked if they want to collab because I'm putting together a gaming slash streaming center. And they said yes. And that's how I got this laptop and we agreed on a review. However, they have zero influence on the review. They haven't seen the video. They're seeing it just now as you're seeing it. So thank you so much, Razer. By the way, I'm shooting this with Sony A7S 3 Oh, wow. Let's see, I'm looking back at myself right now. Can I wait to review this beauty? Anyway, back to the video. And here it is, Razer Blade Pro 17 comes in this recyclable box. Inside the box we're greeted with charger brick with its beautiful braided cable, then a smaller box. Inside that box we're greeted with Razer Blade Pro itself, then some papers, stickers and a cleaning cloth. And that's pretty much it. On the left side it has power, ethernet, USB-A, USB-C, 3.5mm headphone slash microphone port. On the right side it has security lock, HDMI, USB-A, Thunderbolt 3 and an SD card reader. Under the blade we have tons of fans and grills for cooling this monster down. And at launch Razer Blade Pro turned on in only 12 seconds. RGB keys look beautiful and that giant grill between the body and the screen looks majestic. When it comes to speed tests, Razer Blade Pro doesn't disappoint because this is my first PC since 2008. I don't have another PC to compare this to, that's why I compared it to my MacBook Pro. I played endless hours of Warzone on this machine and I had zero problems with it. I also played other games like Flight Simulator and you probably guessed it, yes, Team Fortress 2, and each and every single time, I had nothing but a good time. Blade Pro switches to boost mode while you're gaming and calms down while you're doing things that doesn't require a lot of processing power. Since I wouldn't settle for a machine, a mediocre machine, and embarrass myself in front of my gamer friends, I can say that I'm very happy with Razer Blade Pro. And that's not just because the performance, but also because of the quality that I'm used to coming from Apple. First of all, I love 17-inch laptops. Yes, they're not a complete desktop replacement yet, and they're not as portable, but they are laptops in the streets and desktops in the on the desks. Back when I was going to music school, I had a 17-inch MacBook Pro, and I loved that thing. That was the only computer I had, and it was good for everything. Big enough screen, it's portable, more or less, it got the job done for years. And since they're big, the heat dissipation with a bigger laptop is easier too. And this is the same way. I have a designated little desk over there, so when I want to use this in more desktop-y way, I put it on this little stand, connect the keyboard, mouse, and the headset, and play games on it. And if I want to extend, I can always get an eGPU, and a bigger monitor and use this as a second monitor and get more out of this laptop in time. On the top we have a one megapixel camera which also supports Windows Hello and that's how it unlocked the computer by recognizing my face using the infrared camera right next to the regular camera. The regular camera records up to 720p 30 frames per second video and the camera quality is this but for a laptop this may be enough 
and this is what the audio sounds like this is how the audio gets recorded on this device i'm not one of those who really cares about bezels i care about function more than the form but the bezels are thin and nice on the sides which gives this laptop a premium look talking about form and function this laptop is actually designed in a way to cool itself down really effectively we have gigantic grills here to push out hot air we have four fans here and then another grill there and the beauty of this much airflow is when you're just using this laptop just for regular stuff it is seriously super quiet and i think the speakers here the top part of the speakers are actually built to deal with the heat as well the sound comes up from this bottom part and I think this top part unless it's saved for the bass which I don't think it is it helps with the heat the keyboard feels really nice the travel distance is just good enough for me as a person who's coming from Apple's Magic Keyboard it's a little firmer compared to the Magic Keyboard but it is really good but what makes this keyboard amazing to me is you can probably see is each key has its own RGB light and you can program each key to do whatever you want it to do you can go into Razer's own app sign apps and then here you can go to studio and you can do whatever you want the trackpad is really nice and big and glass however you cannot click on the top part you can only click at the bottom part of it one problem i have with this this is when i have one finger on the trackpad but if i put two fingers down it has this one second delay to understand if you're trying to use two fingers gesture or if you're just resting your thumb to click now on Mac OS this bottom part of the trackpad doesn't register for the gestures so whenever you put your thumb there and then index finger up here it immediately starts moving the cursor around so I think if they can implement something similar to Windows they'll get, a, get rid of this problem when it comes to speakers the speakers are not that good but we have a Dolby feature but even if you turn the Dolby feature on or off they are still not as good as the late 16 inch Macro Pro I also like these legs as well they work pretty well it makes this laptop pretty stable and since they're a little tall it helps with the airflow as well and this laptop is extremely upgradable let's get in there and actually upgrade a little bit For this upgrade, my weapon of choice is from Subrand. It's Rocket Q 4TB M.2 SSD. See, we have an extra port there. If you want to upgrade the RAM, it's really easy to access it there. If you want to clean the laptop from the dust, you can do that too. Batteries are right here. Oh, look at this. It comes in its nice tiny case. just like that we have four more terabyte space on our beautiful 17 inch blade pro now if you're like me you know that every screw has to go back to its own hole for example this screw cannot go into that hole no why no. what do you mean why beautiful now let's see if it works wonderful Let's run a disk speed 
boom, there you go. Four terabytes of extra space. So thanks our brand for sending these. You can check them out in the description box below. And then we have the screen. The screen is 1080p, but it is 300 hertz. Now you can get this in 4K as well, and it supports touch, but I prefer this because I think it's going to be great for gaming. The brightness of the screen is 300 nits, which is all right. I especially like how this screen is. Look at that. Now let's compare that to MacBook. In the end, Razer Blade Pro is a fantastic device, not just for gaming, but also for other power hungry applications. Its beautiful and functional design looks like it justifies its price tag and in my tests the battery lasted more than 4 hours while web surfing and YouTube watching. Also if you check out Razer's website, there are tons of other products that are built to work with this laptop. So if you want, you can create a little Razer ecosystem and if you don't, well, you don't have to. That's the beauty of Razer. You can check out anytime you like and you can easily leave.